discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlock. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome <laughs> to the... <coughs> um. Did you complete? <laughs> welcome to the discussion. Um. Um. Scoville, and I gotta say, I hate this game. No, I hate it. I'm kidding. Uh, if I don't win, it's trash. Yeah, you can throw uh, it mean, away. Just obviously, I'm gonna throw it away. buy this. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I actually, I really like this game, um, quite a bit. Um, but what do you guys think? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, I wasn't sure if you would like it or not. Yeah, um, it's cute. It, yeah, it's cute. It's easy. I mean, you can get. All manner of ages to play this one. Right. I mean, like I think the box had like box thirteen. Sets. I mean, mostly because of the some of the systems are a little more complex. Right. It's mainly just trying to figure out how to crossbreed your peppers mm -hmm. and then Which, yeah. uh, utilize that because it's you're going to start off just getting smaller and smaller stuff, and then by the end of the game, you're going to be able to do the big um, recipes. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I mean the point spread. Uh, I mean from first to last was forty points. Um, not terrible. Uh, like, but from first to second was 14, 14 points. Um, uh, I yeah, 90 to 76. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, um, but you're right, like, this game's not, like, like, groundbreaking or mm -hmm. anything, but I do, I do really like it, I think. It, uh, has enough complexity that it's not, like, boring. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not sitting there just like, mm, okay, well. Wow, I got another crystal pepper or something. Mm -hmm. You have to meticulously decide where you want to plant, and I think where a lot of the strategy in this game comes is actually grounded heavily in turn order. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was all about that fucking turn order. Yeah. Like, if you're not putting up money, you may as well just go home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, sorry, cat. <laughs> but look how much money I have. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I may not have won the chili competition, <laughs> but I am. You are you are the richest. That is true. Uh, and that's the thing, is like, so, and some people may or may not like that, uh, how, because I definitely don't like bidding systems where even though you bid, you also lose your money. Mm -hmm. That doesn't thematically ever make any sense. Um, so it's stupid to be like, well, I didn't get, I mean, it does help, it's, you get to choose, like, if I got first, uh, or if I got second bidding, mm -hmm. then I can choose at least. Well, I mean, one. if you don't view it in a more of a real world sense, yeah. you viewed it more as a, this is just a game right, type, right. then... Um, the only but, thing that sucks about that is because, like, I knew you guys were going to be bidding a lot sometimes, and that's why I just wouldn't bid. I was like, I'm not just going to sit here and bid five coins, or five coins, and you bid six. There, right now I'm just out five coins. out five coins, yeah. right. Um, and that's how it is, because money is relatively scarce in this game. Scarce. I mean, you can, you can sell your peppers, and that's a way to get some more money. Um, and that, there were times where I did that. I would sell peppers just in order to have more money so I can know I would bid more. Mm -hmm. To be able to be like, okay, well, I really need to plant first this round. So there's actually a balance, and it's a neat, it's a neat mechanic because it's like instead of just going plant, harvest, and fulfillment in the same turn order, which would just screw everyone over. Mm -hmm. uh, if you went first, you're going to win the game. Um, but the fact that planting and harvesting, like e planting, harvesting, and fulfillment, all of them, all those phases have their benefits. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, do I want to plant first? Um, right. It's like, well, that would allow me to get these. Right, These and plaques. that's what planting first really helps Yeah, with. it helps you with the plaques a lot. And there, was t there were times where I actually meant to plant first, but I'm like, crap, no, I really want to harvest first so I can get the crystals uh, and, and the other stuff. And then, but shit, it's like, but I really want to fulfill first at mm -hmm. the same time. Um, so I would still probably argue that there is a more big, there's a bigger benefit to going first than last. Um, because not only do you get to plant first and be able to most likely grab a plaque, you also get to fulfill first. Even though you're harvesting last, if you, you you're almost always gonna at least be able to get something. Right. If you can get something of anything, you can most likely still grab a recipe before other players get a chance to. Mm -hmm. um, and there were times that where that happened, where it's like you there was the white plaque left, and I'm like, okay, I'll plant that. Oh crap! And then I saw you had it in your hand, and I'm like, why even bother? <laughs> Because um, he's gonna grab that five points, right? Because it is—it's like you know, harvesting is so tempting. Going yeah. first, because you get you know your choice of the succulent mm -hmm. fruits <laughs> of the earth. Yeah, the peppers and, on yes, the field, the peppers, the, the which spices. is very helpful because I mean, if you are moving around the board, you can actually go in such a way that you can block people. Mm -hmm. um, 
So <coughs> it's actually kind of nice to plant last because it's like, okay, they didn't place it. That's whenever I placed the crystal there because mm -hmm. I knew I was going to harvest first um, and then double back. Uh, and actually, right, and that was, that was pretty sexy. Um, Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs, which include audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from leading audiobook publishers. What I do is I actually download their app, which enables me to be able to listen to the Wheel of Time series, which is phenomenal if you're looking for a huge fantasy world. But if fantasy isn't your thing, well, you can also do romance, fiction, teens, nonfiction, comedy, science and technology, and many, many more. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know, Kat, what do you think? Just about, like... About turn order, about the game in general, um, about your feelings on it. I feel like turn order didn't really affect me so much, just because I usually got to go where I wanted to go. Yeah. Just because... I, we were we were close to each other but spread out enough where I think like mm -hmm. you guys being by me only like hindered me maybe one or two times. So I mean I don't think turn order really influenced me that much. Right. I liked being in the middle because it was just I mean I mean it's second best. Yeah, either it's, it's way. the best of both worlds almost. Yeah. Um, um, so I think the where it hurts you um, and, and just in general in this game is that naturally obviously you're going to be going for the recipes. Um, that's where your biggest points are going to be coming from. So mm -hmm. you can either play the short game and try and get those little ones, which you most likely will get, mm -hmm. um, but then you have to play the long con and then the long game mm -hmm. and then get the, uh, the big ones. What I kind of have a problem with, and it's going to be weird, um, is that, and it's not, it's actually, I don't really have a problem with this first part, is that if everyone's competitive, if everyone is going for the big numbered ones, you are going to be blocking each other a lot more. Mm -hmm. Um, like, it was a little bit easier because it was kind of just you and I right. going for the big ones and Kat was doing uh, the other stuff. But, uh, so then, I mean, I actually like that. I like the mechanic of that. You can't pass one another. You have to go. You can't turn around unless you want to spend essentially four points. Um, and then you're just in everyone's way. Uh, I do like that a mm. lot. Um, what I don't like is that... And it's kind of sandbagging, and I, I, it's not that I hate this. I just wish that you could do more than one market or one recipe. And I don't know if you guys agree with me on this. But there, there were actually times where I was like, you know, I could actually grab two recipes right here. And it's like, you think thematically, I did the work. I have all the peppers. I, can, I should be able to thematically make these recipes. Um, and I know why they didn't, because the game ends depending on how many are left. Right. So if I was like... Uh, it's like, oh, there's two over here, two over here, bam, 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 game's over, you guys can't do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, or you, well, actually, you would still be able to do stuff. Well, it feels like, I mean, the way it ended for us, that they, that, like, the developers, you know, I, I feel like they play tested enough to kind of get a right yeah. uh, kind of feel of how the game progression is going to be in, in your rate of, right. of, like, pepper accumulation, like, and how soon, mm -hmm. you know, because we were both pretty, like, you know, uh, it was just like recipe, recipe, recipe. Yeah. And we're just like, like, who's got the most recipes? <laughs> because that was like the first. biggest marker of right. of success at the. So yeah, it was. I, yeah. I think they did a good job in that. In I think so too. It I, it's not that I hate. It's just I want to do more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, the game does have a really good flow. It says sixty to ninety minutes. Our game lasted uh, like about between then. So the numbers are good. Uh, this game actually works really well with a lot of, like, uh, it works really well on two players. Um, and at two players, you're just not even bothering one another. Uh, so you got you all get to do what you want to do. Uh, three players, I thought it had just enough kind of cutthroat. You're kind of in each other's way, but not really. Mm -hmm. Four, I can imagine, it's like, dude, just stop. <laughs> but that just means more peppers, meaning more things, and then there's more cards out. Because in a four-player game, 16 recipes are out. Um and then 11 cards are in the market. So you actually have enough to be able to do everything you want. I really like this crossbreeding thing. Like that's right. that's what makes this game unique, mm -hmm. is the fact that you actually have to meticulously place peppers in a way that you're like, okay, that's gonna make me a green. If I place a green, then I'll be able to do this. And then you just go on and so forth, and by the end, yeah, you can get double crystals or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, did you guys? What do you guys think of the uh, the crossbreeding? Do you guys like this? Do you think it's overly? Do you think it's unnecessarily complicated? I like it. 
You like yeah. it? I think it was just perfect. I mean, once you kind of got a groove for it, you can yeah. look and... Once you look and you're like, oh, okay, so yep, uh, white and black uh, mirror those, uh, <laughs> which I didn't even make that assumption the first time I played this game. Hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I really don't have like a whole lot of negatives on this game. Uh, I don't think I got hindered too much. Um, I think it was just about, you know, peppers being in the right place at the right time. Um, like turn order, I probably focused too much on harvesting a little bit more than I should have. So being able to plant and fulfill uh, first, because you got 21 points straight off of plaques mm -hmm. alone. So it's like, well, I mean, if you get to plant first, then yeah, you're going to grab those. Um, I do wish there were more of these in a three-player game, though. I think yeah. that it that's just too short. Um, it's like, well, but I, I understand they're trying to they're trying to make it cutthroat in in a point spread. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have any negatives? Not about about this game. I mean, it was. It's pretty straightforward for a game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right, a game to slap out on a game night, you know. Just, yeah, for sure. And it's yeah. very inoffensive, and I mean, most audiences would enjoy it. Yeah, right, yeah. It's I not mean, too thinky, but then it's got just enough thinky, mm -hmm. and so I like I like the cute uh, recipe names. <laughs> like some of them are are pretty neat. Uh, it just they didn't have to do that. It makes it a little bit more thematic. Oh, I never read my last one. The flux. Oh God. Cap. Mm -hmm. Cap. Oh, what was Cap it? Capsaicin. Capsaicinator. Nice. The flux capsaicinator. Nice. Um. I would. I well. Um. Yeah. Like I really don't have any any negatives on on this game. Um. It's it's a solid game. Same company that did uh, Thy Will Thy Will Be Done, Crusaders. The oh, Crusaders yeah. game. Same company there. Um. And then they have the they have enough variety. Like there's a stack of recipe cards, a stack of inventory cards. Um, that's another way you can actually probably get a lot of points if you sell to the market quite a bit, especially in the afternoon. Like four points. Like I think is that the most it goes up to? Yeah. But nope, there's one for five points. But that actually it's a white and a black gets you a crystal mm -hmm. and five points. So. Yeah, there's enough variety there. I think the expansion, which I've never played with, would be neat because it gives you your own little lab, so you can kind of control. Oh, hey, okay, well, uh, like, oh, well, it's like I'm not gonna be able to get anything over over here because you're blocking me. I, I can just try and get a crystal on my own lab. Mm. So it would just give you a little bit more freedom and not get screwed over so much uh, by wanting to harvest. <laughs> Granted, you're gonna get a lot more there uh, whenever you do it. So, yeah, I mean, I really, I got nothing else. Mm -hmm. on, on this game. Yeah. Um, cat, scale of 1 to 10. Give it a dang old. I'll give it. Because mm, it's not the best game I've ever played, but it's. I remember you liking it a lot the fun. first time we played yeah. it. Yeah. Um, give it an 8. An 8? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Devin? Mm, I mean, they did what they said to do. <laughs> did they? They did. Um,. <clears throat> How do you know? It is I mean, <laughs> they did make a game. But I'll be honest, I'm not going to be like, oh boy, Scoville again. Yeah, right. let's play that. So, because you know my stick, you know, I like my role plays. Right. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. A seven? Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with Kat. I'm going to give it an eight. I, th I like Scoville um, quite a bit. Uh, and it sounds like, oh, well, he's not really, like, raving about it. It's it's a very solid game, and I would gladly play this enough, uh, or play this again. Uh, another thing I should mention, I also really like the height, like, element that they added mm -hmm. to the peppers, just because, if that is true, if we're colorblind, like, I mean, you cannot play this if you're colorblind, but if they didn't do the different heights, because um, mm -hmm. even if you're looking at your chart, they have the height depth on here, so you can kind of... Uh, I mean, it would still probably be difficult, but you can kind of see that they have uh, different like heights on the, the crystal versus the brown. So I just think it's really neat. I like seeing it on, on the board. Uh, it's, just, it's very colorful, very vibrant. Um, it's, a, it's a solid, I, I wouldn't say a gateway game, just because this might be a little too complex. Um, well, maybe not. It's, I mean, it's, 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 like, it's that next step. Literally just matching things. That is true. So I don't That's think true. it's... I don't think it's so fun. so much of like, well, obviously people can understand, okay, so blue and red make purple. It's the complexity of understanding what purple's then going to do and, and thinking that far ahead. I wouldn't necessarily say gateway, but it's that next step. 
-hmm. Very much so. Intermediate. Game. Intermediate. Could yeah. Be intermediate. Yeah. And and yeah, like uh, in the expansion, I think uh, the markets also uh, like if you sell, you can get your move one extra step back. Or something like that. There's cards in the market that it's like, hey, turn in these, and then if you spend, you get an, you get this back, or you get another one. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that would actually be really nice because these are so handy. Right. They're worth four points, and you're like, ugh. Thank you pretty do, much. do I want to keep oh. them? Um, so yeah, but I think I'm gonna give it give it an eight. I I enjoy it quite a bit. And that's Scoville, everyone. Uh, let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell, click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page, the link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.